Welcome back to the channel, Big Dog Brett. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're gonna talk about LSU today. <sighs> Normally I make a trash talk video about how we're gonna do, how the other team's gonna get manhandled, and how UGA is gonna do this, that, or the other. Now, this time, it's just all business. UGA's been chopping wood all year, and they're going to keep chopping wood today. We're going to come down to our favorite place to play, which is at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia's going to handle business. Now, we can talk about how LSU's got this prolific offense with Joe Burrow. We can talk about how they got a running back that's got a thousand yards, over a thousand yards rushing. We can talk about their receivers. We can talk about Georgia's offense, excuse me, Georgia's defense. Uh, Georgia's defense is number one in every category except one, I think, and it's number two in that one. The fact that we've played ranked teams, the fact that we're used to playing tough games, the fact that we're used to playing close games. But what I really want to talk about is Georgia's offense versus LSU's defense. I have no doubt Georgia's offense is going to, uh, Georgia's defense is going to hold its own. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. <laughs> Unless you're delusional and you're an LSU fan, which, you know, I've lived in Louisiana. <laughs> I can understand why it'd be difficult to, to look at somebody else's point of view, seeing as how about half the state don't even have internet access, but whatever. What I will say is Jake Fromm plays his best football in postseason. Has ever since the year he started. Georgia's going to come with an offensive play plan that's going to work. All we have to do is look at any of the other teams that's put five or 600 yards on LSU. The big thing is, is that a lot of those teams didn't have that good of an offense and they couldn't finish the drive. Georgia can. Georgia also has the ability to continue to stretch the game out by limiting the uh, stretch the game out through the offense being grindy. And this prevents LSU from having the ball as much. I expect that a high powered offense is going to struggle whenever they can't move the ball the way they want to. And I believe Georgia is going to create that environment. Looking at today's game, I expect a good game. But Coach O is not Kirby. Coach O hasn't played on the big stage. We've lived on the big stage in the postseason. We, sh we are there every single year. We're there on the past since Kirby's been there. First full year here, we were there. Second full year, we were there. Third year, here we are. When you get to those postseason games, there's injuries that's there on the team. We know how to handle them. We know how to address them. But the big thing is, is that UGA has the experience in postseason. We're not going to get jitters under the big lights. We're not going to be on too big of a stage. Jake Fromm is going to make smart choices. It's just the way it's going to go. And Jake Fromm's style of play is why he's considered one of the best, smartest, quarterbacks in all of college football. You got a college quarterback that can be labeled all that stuff and he's not hanging 40, 50, 60 points on the board every game. Might be a reason for it, guys. But before you climb all over that and start telling me how I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm a delusional Georgia fan and all this other fun stuff, uh, do yourself a favor. Once you go back and look at those games, how we played during the season and how we played in postseason the past couple of years. Sure, I'm going to hear, oh, you lost to South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, we did. And we're still so dad blame good that we're sitting only two spots behind you. We didn't have that loss. We'd be ahead of you. Because if you lose today, when you lose today, you're probably going to be knocked to fourth. Georgia's going to move up that ladder. So,
Moral of the story, we're going to see y'all on the field. Come on down. Get you some of this. Because them dogs, they ain't scared. But we know that Joe Burrow, he's been sacked 26 times all year by average to below average defenses. What do you think is going to happen today? Georgia is absolutely used to being looked at as the underdog. We like it. We don't mind a bit. You just keep telling them UGA dogs how they can't win. They ain't going to win. Keep feeding that fire. And we're just going to keep chopping. So at the end of the day today, when you look up and you go, how in the world did we lose this game? You can come back here and say, oh, yeah. Big dog told us. So just remember, don't disappear after the game. I'll be here, but I bet most of you guys on LSU won't. Have a great day. Come on down. Let's play some football. God bless. Go dogs.